What's up everyone? We've got a little update here about our Twitch save with Project Palmer. There you go. We've even got a retro top in their honour. We've just finished season one this morning. Bit of an up and down season, but a lot of potential and some cool new formations. So that's where the season finished and I'm pretty happy with it. Looking at it, I'm pretty happy with it. Media had us down for finishing 14th. And in real life, Palmer are really struggling. I think they're down in 19th or 20th. So we finish 11th on 50 points. But it's a little bit disappointing. If you look a little bit above onto that little table there, you can see that early doors in the season, we actually did really well. A couple of games in, we were first. Believe it or not, we were first. And as the season went on, second, third, sixth. So we're always in that top area of the, of the table, 6th, down to 8th, ninth. we went right back up there, up to 4th, one stage in the Champions League position, following a really good run. Dropped down to 7th, but always challenging, we went into our last Twitch stream in 7th, hoping to maintain a European place, but the schedule really bit us in the ass. We had Lazio, Juve, Milan, Atalanta, all in our last 7 games. It wasn't pretty, and we ended up dropping to 13th and 14th at one stage, for turning it round and pulling it back to 11th. Now there's been some big highlights and some big victories for this team, which is why I'm excited about the future. If you look at this one here, 3-1 away from home against Napoli with goals from Marini, Pazella and Kucha and a really good performance away from home. Now anyone who's played Inter in this game know the quality that they possess. Let's have a little look at their team. For example, Martinez, Vidal, Brozovic, Hakimi. And again, went home, away from home, sorry, to the San Siro, clawed a nil-nil draw out of it. Oh, hello. We couldn't cut there. Kurtic hits Cornelius. Get in! <laughs> you what? Get in, my boys. Another huge win. AC Milan at home. 2 nil. Clean sheet. Did a right number of them. Ibrahimovic couldn't get a sniff. We done great things. So what happened? We've done. We beat all these big teams and drew against them. Why didn't we finish higher? Weaker teams, we really struggled. If you look through a few of these results, Benevento, we lost 0-1. Crotone, we lost 1-2. Udinese, who finished below us, 0-3. This is a tough ass, Delefeo's just put in for free. We've been proper, proper done a number on here. Udinese have done to us what we like to do to other people. It's not great, is it? And as the, the season progressed, this kind of carried on. Benevento and Crotone done the double over us. Lower, lower down, Cagliari, who got relegated, beat us 1-3. The reasons for this, the tactic that we built is for Parma to be an underdog team. And I'll show you now. I mean, there you go. It's got five at the back, in essence. Three midfield with two up front. Now, I do have two fullbacks absolutely bombing on, but the five at the back. And the deeper line, if you can see here, is to draw teams onto us, smash them on the break. And that's what we did. When we come against weaker teams, they weren't coming onto us as much causes a bit of a problem. So, for next season, we need to develop this tactic and have a more aggressive version to take on these smaller teams as well. I'd like to point out the transfer business that Palmer did before we got there. 83 million pound was spent by Palmer in the off season on, I can't even count how many players there's at least 22 players. I mean, that is craziness. And you'd think they'd leave us in a decent position then with the squad that they've assembled. But out of all those 22 players there, I can think of maybe three that were regular starters in my team. The goalkeeper, Sepe, had a good season. His value's gone up to 9.5, average rating of over 7. The left wing back from Udinese, Pizzella, great signing, nominated for player of the year for Sierra A. He was a good signing. And the only other one I can possibly say that was a good signing maybe was Hanani from Zenit defensive midfielder but he fell away the rest bit part players some really average players some proper dodgy work I'm going to look in again the director of football sacked because if that was me I'd expect to get sacked and the other thing is he left us with no money to do business ourselves so next season what we're going to do well we're going to keep this tactic definitely because it works quite well against the bigger teams not 100% success rate, Lazio battered us 4-0, but Juve struggled against us, the great Juve, they only beat us by one goal each time. Inter couldn't beat us twice, Milan we beat. So we're going to keep that, but we're going to progress it to more 
aggressive against some weaker teams, keeping a back free five scenario. So we've got two versions of it. We've got this one as well, which sees us go over three, four, one, two. That's really aggressive. So those will be against teams that I really think we should be beating. And the other variation of this tactic will be this one. So we're now two attacking players up wide, not wingers. I'm thinking of an advanced playmaker and an inverted winger on each side with the fullbacks bomber on, supporting one striker. So we've got to go with those three tactics. And you can see there's some gaps in the starting 11 there. These gaps are the ones I want to fill with new players. So that's it for this little update. We're going to keep these updates to one a season on YouTube because this is our Twitch save. We progress it on Twitch a couple of sessions a week where I can. When I'm back at work, that might be slightly less, but we'll see. So goals for next season, we finish 11th. We want to progress. I want us to get into this top seven. If we get this top seven, we'll be laughing. But if you look at that top seven, look at the names in it. Juventus, Lazio, Milan, Atalanta, Napoli, Inter, Fiorentina. It's going to be tough to force our way in, so we're going to have to have a quality off season. If you can join us on Twitch, that'd be great. The link's down below in the description. This is the Twitch save, Project Palmer. First season, not too bad.